hello welcome to my tutorial this video will concentrate on how to solve some numerical problems on chi-square test for homogeneity chi-square test for homogeneity is typically used when you have two or more groups and you want to assess whether the proportions or frequencies of a categorical variable are similar across these groups now let's look at the challenge we have on the board suppose a biologist wants to investigate whether the distribution of eye color that is blue, brown, green is homogeneous across different regions of our country. Collects data from three different regions that is the north, south, east and records the number of individuals with each eye color that is the observed frequencies in each region in the following contingency table. Looking at our table we have three columns that is blue, brown and green and also three rows that is north, south, and east. And so this table is scared three by three contingency table, resulting to nine cells. First thing to do is to formulate hypothesis. Of course, no hypothesis states that the distribution of eye color is homogeneous across different regions of our country. While the alternative hypothesis states that the distribution of eye color is not homogeneous across different regions of our country next is to calculate expected frequencies we use this formula here to calculate the expected frequencies for the nine cells it's row total times column total divided by grand total for row total we expected to total all the rows and for column total we also expected to total all the columns here we go now 120 plus this plus this 100 plus this plus this 130 plus this plus this let's also total the columns 120 plus this plus this 80 plus this plus this 50 plus this plus this now let's get the grand total the grand total could be gotten by adding all this up uh, adding up this 250 plus 250 plus 250 are 350 plus dex plus dex. Now let's calculate the expected frequency for individuals from the northern region with blue eye color. Will be remember our formula is row total. So the row total for this is 250 times column total. The column total here is 350 divided by grand total. Our grand total is 750. And so 250 times 350. Divide by 750 gives, which is approximately 117. For individuals from the northern region with brown eye color, the expected frequency would be, remember our formula, the row total being 250 times column total divide by grand total. And that gives us this value, approximately 87. For individuals from the northern region with green eye color, the expected frequency is because the row total is 250 times the column total being 140 divided by grand total and that gives for individuals from the southern region with blue eye color the expected frequency will be the row total being 250 times the column total being 350 divided by the grand total approximately 117 individuals from the southern region with brown eye color, the expected frequency equal 250 being the row total times the column total divided by grand total. For individuals from the southern region with green eye color, the expected frequency will be 250 times column total being 140 divided by grand total and that gives us this. For individuals from the eastern region with blue eye color, the expected frequency will be 250 times 350 divided by grand total for those from the eastern region with brown eye color the expected frequency will be 250 times 260 divided by grand total individuals from the eastern region having green eye color the expected frequency will be 250 times 140 divided by the grand total so we've succeeded in calculating all the expected frequencies for the nine cells Remember, we say we are working with three by three contingency table. That is nine cells: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now let's calculate the contribution to chi for each cell. 
remember we have nine cells so we are expected to calculate the contribution to chi for each of the cells using this formula observe frequency minus expected frequency all square divided by expected frequency so contribution to chi for northern region with blue eye the observed frequency for northern region with blue eye is 120 minus the expected frequency our expected frequency for northern region with blue eye color remember it's this value all square following the formula divide by expected frequency and so 120 minus 117 all square divide by 117 gives this value for individuals in the northern region with brown eye contribution to chi will be following our formula observed frequency the observed frequency for northern brown eye color individuals is 80 then minus the expected frequency remember our expected frequency for those in the northern region with brown eye is 87 all square divide by expected frequency and that gives this value individuals in the northern region with green eye color the contribution to chi will be the observed frequency being 50 minus the expected frequency of course the expected frequency by our calculation will got 47 all square divided by expected frequency the observed frequency for individuals in the southern region with blue eye color is 100 minus the expected frequency will get this value all square divided by this value individuals in the southern region with brown eye color the contribution to chi will be the observed frequency being 110 minus the expected frequency we've got 87 here all square divided by expected frequency that's in the southern region with green eye color the contribution to chi will be the observed frequency minus the expected frequency remember we got 47 all square divided by 47 individuals in the eastern region with blue eye color the observed frequency is 130 minus the expected frequency of course we got this value all square divided by 117 individuals in the eastern region with brown eye the contribution to chi will be the observed frequency here is 70 minus the expected frequency all square divided by 87 individuals in the eastern region with green eye color the contribution to chi will be the observed frequency minus the expected frequency all square divided by 47 and that gives this value here now we've succeeded in calculating all the contribution to chi for the nine cells next is to calculate our test statistic by using this formula because this symbol here simply means addition or summation so we are summing up all the values of contribution to chi and that will give us our test statistic and here we go now 0 0.0769 plus this value plus this value plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this lastly plus this 15.3824 determine degrees of freedom we we'll use this formula to determine the degrees of freedom which is number of rows minus one times number of columns minus one of course a number of rows will have minus one times number of columns we also have minus one three minus one we have two three minus one again we have two so two times two gives us four so our degrees of freedom equal four next is to find the p value from the chi distribution table this is our chi distribution table and we are looking at the alpha as 0 0.05 and our degree of freedom by our calculation we got four so we trace this then to four now let's compare chi statistic with our p value so for the fact that chi statistics is greater than the p value we reject null and then accept what the alternative hypothesis is saying finally let's draw a conclusion our conclusion will be based on what the alternative hypothesis is saying the conclusion is that the distribution of eye color is not homogeneous across different regions of our country i hope this video helps please do well to like this video Leave an amazing comment, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.